We have always wondered and wanted to know more about the history of the house. We have been told, and history seems to say, that any time there was a speakeasy, there was a brothel. And on the floor above us, there were originally at least eight bedrooms, so that seems like it might be true. We are in San Francisco on the southern border of the Presidio, which is the only national park in the United States that's actually in a city. So it's very unique to have a view of a forest while living inside a major city. The house was built in uh, 1913, so it's 99 years old. The house is four stories. It's over 5,000 square feet. It has four formal bedrooms. Um, then there's a room that we use as a gym, and there's a room that we use as an office. And then we have the, the indoor swimming pool. Then of course the speakeasy is a room that everybody loves. It's very large, it's got high ceilings. When we bought the house, there were no windows in the room. Uh, in 2005, we updated the speakeasy, but we have left the bar and the bandstand. It's the same size bar you would have in a restaurant. The original piano is still there. We've added the theater to the room so you can watch films there. It's a great room to entertain and to, and to just have fun in. The story that came with the house that we believe is true is that when the police came to raid the speakeasy, someone at the front door could push a button and the light on the bar would flicker and people would know that it was time to run out the doors. And there are two doors plus a secret passageway for people to leave as quickly as possible. The asking price for the house is four million dollars and compared to other houses in San Francisco it is a tremendous amount of house for that amount of money.